in this video i'm going to make a hat i'm going to use this yarn this is 100 percent cotton you can use acrylic as well it's also a nice yarn but this is the yarn that i want to use especially in the color so i use what you have there and let's go for it so i am going to use 3.5 millimeter hook this is size fine number two so if you're using the same yarn, number of yarn that I have, then you don't have to adjust later. But if so, then just add more rows to get the size that you want. So hold your yarn as comfortable as you are to control that one. But for me, I'm, you, I handle it like this, placing it over my pinky finger and then wrapping my three middle finger two times one and two and then hold that yarn and that's how i hold my yarn then insert your hook under turn it all the way until here now you're back in place grab and pull through pull and pull leave enough space for your hook and then yarn over and pull through that's our first chain second chain third chain and then fourth chain so once you have four chain in total go to the first chain insert first chain insert your hook then hold this one here and then yarn over and pull through and pull through now you have a little circle Round two, chain three. One, two, three. Yarn over. This is our first double crochet. Now we're going to make a second double crochet. Yarn over. Place your hook in the middle of the circle. Like this one here. Insert. Grab and pull three loops in your hook grab and pull through two grab and pull through two yarn over insert your hook in the same stitch grab and pull grab and pull through two grab and pull through two that's our third double crochet yarn over insert your hook in the same stitch or the same circle which is here in the middle grab and pull grab and pull through two grab and pull through two yarn over insert your hook in the same circle grab and pull grab pull through two grab pull through two it's very easy so one two three four five i'm going to add more double crochets until I get 12 in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and this will be the last one 12 make sure you have 12 in total and round round two so go to the third chain one two three insert yarn over and pull and pull through so you should only have 12 stitches in total and the slip stitch doesn't count as a stitch so we will not take that as a stitch always in this project so we're gonna leave that out only from here all the way to the first double crochet one two three four sorry one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve 
and don't take the slip stitch so we should only have 12 double crochet in total that is for our round one round two chain three one two and three so what we're going to do is we're going to double the stitches here two stitch in each of the stitches yarn over one double crochet in the very first stitch that one. this is our first double crochet and insert your hook in the first very first double a stitch insert your hook grab and pull grab pull through two grab pull through two so that is already considered as two double crochet in one stitch including the f chain three so go to the next stitch yarn over go to the next grab and pull grab pull through two grab pull through two yarn over insert your hook in the same stitch grab and pull grab pull through two grab pull through two and then we're just going to repeat that all the way around so in round um th round three in round three you should have 24 double crochet in total so our round one is chain four our round two is 12 double crochet our round three is 24 double crochet placing two double crochet in one stitch Counting the number of stitch is important because we are increasing in this project. Sometimes it's not important to count the stitch, it depends what kind of project you are making. But this time it is important, especially we are increasing. So I am here in my last stitch. Yarn over and go to the last stitch. This is going to be our last one, not the slip stitch one. So I have two double crochet each. Make sure you count two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. Don't take the slip stitch, leave that away. So one, two, three. Go to the third chain, insert, yarn over and pull, and pull through. And it's growing. So in the third round, we're going to chain three, yarn over, insert your hook in the very first stitch, this one here. Yarn over and pull, yarn over, pull through two yarn over pull through two that is our first double crochet and then i'm going to place another double crochet make one double crochet in the next stitch two double crochet in the next one double crochet in the next we're going to repeat that all the way around. I am here in my last two stitches. I'm going to place two double crochet there. Two double crochet before my last stitch. And then one double crochet in the last one. And then skip the slip stitch and then go to the third chain, insert your hook, grab and pull and pull through. Chain three one double crochet in the first stitch one double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in the next two double crochet in the next stitch
one double crochet in the next so two double crochet in one stitch one double crochet in each of the next two stitches two double crochet in the next stitch in the next stitch one double crochet in each of the next two stitches skip the slip stitch go to the third chain insert yarn over and slip stitch chain three for the next round yarn over one double crochet in the very first stitch this one here insert one double crochet in each of the next three stitches one two and three two double crochet in the next one double crochet in each of the next three stitches repeat that all the way around i have here four stitches in the last section and then two double crochet in the next one double crochet each of the next three stitches one two and last one three like usual skip the slip stitch go to the third chain and pull through chain three for the next round one double crochet in the first one two three four one double crochet each one two three four two double crochet in the next two double crochet in first stitch one two three four double crochet the next four stitches repeat two double crochet in the next stitch one one double crochet in the same stitch one double crochet in each of the next four stitches one two three last one four We're going to repeat that all the way around i have five stitches left two double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in each of the next four stitches one two three four go to the third chain skip the slip stitch and count one two three insert grab and pull and pull through chain three for the next round this is your work should look like nicely round chain three like in the previous round, one double crochet in the first stitch, that one. One double crochet in each of the next five stitches. So that's one, two, 
three, four, last one, five. So in the previous we make four and now we go five because we're increasing. And the same beginning, one double crochet in the very first stitch. Repeat, two double crochet in the next stitch. One. In the same stitch, insert, make another double crochet. Two. Then one double crochet in each of the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, last one, five. Repeat that all the way around. I am here in my last six stitches. One, two double crochet in the next stitch one and then two so five double crochet in each of the next uh, one double crochet in each of the next five stitches two double crochet in one stitch and repeat one double crochet in each of the next five stitches don't take the slip stitch don't count that one as stitch so we will leave that alone skip that slip stitch go to the third chain just like in the previous round that's how we close our round so if this is enough for you already try it on your head and then we're going to make one double crochet for stitches chain three one two three so if this is not uh, enough size for your head, you can add more rows of increase to the double crochet in the first stitch. Like this, chain 3, 1 double crochet in the very first stitch. And then this one here, we have six double, 5 double crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1 double crochet in each of the next 5 stitches. And then in the next round, you're going to make it into 6 and seven and then eight and then nine but just always follow that here is one stitch in the first stitch and then here two double crochet in the next two stitches five double crochet in the next five stitches so you just go increase in the next round if this is not enough for you so moving on to the next round we're going to stop increasing now chain three and then one double skip the very first stitch this time skip the first stitch go to the next that one insert one double crochet so that's how we begin and then one double crochet in the next stitch and one double crochet per stitches until the last stitch all the way around i am here in my last stitch place one double crochet there skip the slip stitch and go to the third chain insert yarn over and pull and pull through chain three to begin and we're just going to repeat this round one double crochet per stitches until we get the length we want so go ahead do that and i'm gonna meet you once i'm done i am here in my last stitch and one double crochet there skip the slip stitch this one and then go to the third chain insert just like how we close our rounds chain three for the next round so here i have seven rows of double crochet per stitches one double crochet per stitches seven rows of that you can add more rows before you go to increase again so try it on and then go to the next round 
so this fits for me already perfectly and this is enough size that I want and that fits for me so now I'm going to the next round so this time we are going to increase so chain 3 to begin and then one double crochet in the very first stitch this one go to the next stitch which is this one on the top of that two double crochet there one and two two double crochet in one stitch go to the next stitch two double crochet and one i mean two double crochet in each of the next per stitches two double crochet per stitches until the last stitch all the way around increasing two double crochet in each two double crochet here two 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 all the way around per stitches i am here in my last two stitches placing two double crochet each of those go to the last one one and two two double crochet each stitch skip the slip stitch go to the third chain insert your head there close the round just like how we do in the previous rounds and this is how it looked like as you can see it's starting to like a fluffy here this corner like this so I'm going to repeat this round, that one, the one that we just made, chain 3, 1 double crochet in the very first stitch, two double crochet in the next stitch, two double crochet in the next stitch, and two double crochet per stitches all the way around just like in the previous round that we just made so go ahead do that and i'm gonna meet you once i'm done i am here in my last stitch take that one and place your last double crochet two double crochet in the last stitch skip the slip stitch go to the third chain insert yarn over and pull and pull through chain three to begin the next round and just to show you this is your work should look like it's super cute i really like it so if you want it a little bit more fluffy like this you can add more rows of two double crochet per stitches all the way around add as many as you want for that and then once you are done or satisfied we move on to the next round chain three skip the very first stitch and go to the next insert place one double crochet one double crochet in the next and one double crochet per stitches all the way around I am here in my last stitch making my last double crochet so as you can see I'm using another kind of yarn here because I am out of cotton yarn but they are very similar to the color so I just use these ones so this is acrylic and this is cotton but as you can see it doesn't um the difference there's not much difference so just use what i have here you can do the same if you're out of uh, yarn if you want so skip the slip stitch and then go to the third chain and yarn over and pull and pull through chain one pull tight and cut the yarn once you're done so here 
I made three rows of that one double crochet per stitches so you can just repeat making one double crochet per stitches until you get the length that you want and I have made two uh, three rows for that so once you are done with that one this is how it look like like this it's really nice you can make this one longer too by adding more rounds and this fits perfectly for me so now what we're gonna do is I'm going to make the circle so here I have a white yarn a really uh, perfectly white and this is 100% cotton you can use the same one uh, this is fine number two so to begin we're not going to make a slip knot, we're going to make a magic circle. So place the end here in the middle, turn it like this, like that, and then insert your hook in that circle, and then just grab that yarn and pull, and then pulling it a little bit. Just a little bit because we're gonna need the circle here in the middle. So like that. Okay, that would be enough. Chain three, one, two, three. Make one double crochet in the circle, this one. And then add 10 more double crochet in the circle. That. So you should have 12 double crochet in total, including the chain three. Chain three count as first double crochet. So make sure you count your number of stitches so all of these things are all the same because we're going to make more of this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and this will be my last one. Then once you're done, go to the third chain, one, two, three, insert, grab and pull and pull through, just like how we close our round. Yarn over and pull, pull tight, and we're going to cut the yarn. I have a really big um, scissor here because the other one is... I have to find it. So the purpose of this magic circle when you pull it, it's just gonna close this circle in the middle like that. And you can secure that later or not, it's up to you. So I have made a lot of that here. It's quite enough. I made quite enough here. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, and seventeen in total. You can add more if you want more uh, white point in your hat. It's definitely up to you. So I will just spread that white everywhere here. And I have here, um, wait, let me cut it a little bit. I have too much yarn in my needle. So I just enough now. So like that. And then you can choose which side you like, this side or the other side. I think for me this is better. It's, it's up to you. So grab that one, put it on the top, and then, and then just sew that as it is to attach. Just like basic, um, basic sewing method. Nothing much too difficult. It. It's not difficult at all. So just inserting per stitches to attach this one. It's up to you how you attach this one. As long as it is nicely attached. That's all that matters in the end. that and then going more and 
more. And more. And to secure, bringing this one out. And here, we're going to secure that here. But first, make sure this one is not loose. So try to pull everything like that. So here we're gonna secure that here. I will make this a little bit. I pull this one a little bit because this one is too long. So now putting it back again in the same place, same position. Okay, that should be good. So this is nicely attached now. I'm going to just secure the remaining stitch here. I think I loose up this one. I bring it to the other side. So let's bring it up back again. And the other side, this one. Okay, and secure. Just making a few knots to secure that stitch. Not so tight, so it doesn't scumble. Okay. So I'm going to cut that yarn. Then I will go a little bit more to secure. I will just hide it here. Under the white one. This one here, the middle. Then grab that yarn and then make a few knots again. It's up to you how you secure that one. Go what is easier for you. This is just my way of securing it. And then I'm gonna do more. Like that. So I will just put this together and hide it. Or you can cut it already. But let's hide it. Okay. Securing more of the rest of this uh, remaining yarns. Hide the rest of that. And then there's another one. Bring it under. And then secure again. Mm -hmm. Like this. I'd rather hide that yarn, that remaining yarn, because maybe later you never know you need it. So you can just use it again in case it loses up. Okay. I make it like that. I'll go for that now. Okay. So that's how I attach the yarn, uh, the white one. And this is on that side and it's like this. So spread this one around around the hat. You can it's up to you how many you want as long as it is Nicely attached. And this is how your worksheet look like. Spreading all these white ones around it. And this is the inside with all the stuff. So let's try it on. <laughs> 